Hi, Norman with iSaveTractors.com. In this video, I'm going to be building a front weight bracket for this John Deere 400 garden tractor. One of the reasons for this project today is to test out this new welder I purchased back in December of 2017. It's been almost six months and I really haven't done any projects with it yet, so today that's going to change. This has a 200 amp output uh, power limit. I'm going to be using a 35 thou flux core wire on 3 8 inch mild steel. Here's the steel I'm working with today. This is 3 8 inch thick mild steel, 5 inches wide, 36 inches long. I'm going to be cutting this up into three pieces. Two will be uh, perpendicular to one long piece of flat bar that I'll be using to hang the actual suitcase weights onto. To cut this steel, I'm going to be using my metal cutting bandsaw here. Now, the 5 inch flat bar is a little bit too big for this machine, so as you'll see in a moment, I'm going to cut down most of uh, this length and then I'm going to turn the stock over and cut it from the other side. Now that the cutting's finished, this is what we're left. These are the three primary pieces of the weight bracket that we'll be making. I have this cardboard template in the upper part of the screen. That's going to help me locate the holes that I'm going to drill to mount this onto the front of the tractor. You might not have noticed, but in this particular clip, I put another piece of steel under the original piece of steel that I drilled a hole in. This helps me keep the hole in the same exact position for that second piece of steel. Here I'm tacking in place a piece of half inch hot rolled square. This piece of steel is what's going to keep the mounting bracket uh, against the frame of the tractor and prevent it from rotating. Here I am just test fitting it to make sure it is square with the tractor frame. Here I am lining up the rest of the bracket. Now that everything's aligned, let's just get right to the welding. This uh, new welder I'm using puts out a tremendous amount of heat given its weight and size. I am welding the support brackets with uh, three passes using flux core wire. And as you'll see in a moment, the welds came out great. This is a, a very strong bracket and, uh, that I'm going to be hanging out 240 pounds where the suitcase weights onto. As you can see, the welds came out pretty darn good. Now all that's left is to give it a quick uh, prime and paint, mount it on, hang the weights, and test it out. This weight bracket is going to be held to the front of the tractor via two 5 8 inch pins. I do have to secure the pins with hair clips on the inside of the, the tractor frame. I might change that in the future to use the traditional spring-loaded frame that John Deere always uses, but for right now, this will work great. Here I am hanging six 40-pound cast iron John Deere suitcase weights to this bracket. That's 240 pounds. And there you have it. This bracket came out great. It's plenty strong to hold the 240 pounds of suitcase weights. This is going to be great for when I'm towing either really heavy trailers or lifting really heavy things on the three-point hitch. This front weight bracket will keep my front end down and keep the tractor well balanced. Check out this video of it holding an old uh, John Deere snowblower.
Well, that concludes this project today. Don't forget, isavetractors.com is your number one source for high-quality aftermarket parts for your vintage small engines and garden tractors. We carry and develop every kind of part for these old Kohler engines, old Briggs engines, Tecumseh, Onan, Wisconsin. We got it all. We don't just sell parts. We save tractors. My name is Norman. Thanks for watching.